I envy the Japanese the extreme clarity that everything in their work has. It's never dull and never appears to be done too hastily. Their work is as simple as breathing and they draw a figure with a few confident strokes of the same ease as buttoning your waistcoat. I must manage to do a figure with a few strokes. That'll keep me busy all winter. If we study Japanese art, we see a man undoubtedly wise and a philosopher and intelligent who spends his time on what? Studying the distance from the Earth to the Moon? No. Studying politics? No. He studies a single blade of grass. But this blade of grass leads him to draw all the plants. Then the seasons, the broad features of landscapes, finally animals and the human figure. He spends his life like that, and life's too short to do everything. People tell me, you should get out of the habit of coloured Japanese prints, but I don't tire of those little figures and landscapes. For me, the more ordinary ones, coloured in flat tones, are Admirable. After some time, your vision changes. You see with a more Japanese eye, you feel colored differently. We wouldn't be able to study Japanese art, it seems to me, without becoming much happier and more cheerful. It makes us return to nature, despite our education and our work in a world of convention. Just think. Isn't it almost a new religion that the Japanese teach us who are so simple and live in nature as if they themselves were flowers? I'm always saying to myself that I'm in Japan here. That as a result, I only have to open my eyes and paint what's right in front of me. I have more and more the existence of a Japanese painter living close to nature. You can get an idea of the change in my painting if you think of Japanese pictures. I have hundreds of Japanese prints. I have no doubt that I'll always love nature here. It's something like Japanese art. Once you love that, you don't have second thoughts about it. I've drawn an immense flat expanse of country with a little train passing through harvested wheat fields. It doesn't look Japanese, and yet it's actually the most Japanese thing I've done. I feel I'm in Japan. Japanese draws like a dream. Ideas are coming to me in abundance. I'm going like a painting locomotive. We're making paintings like Japanese prints. Of course. I still have in my memory the feelings that the journey from Paris gave me this past winter. How I watched out to see if it was like Japan yet. <laughs> Childish, isn't it? I came to the south and threw myself into work for a thousand reasons. To want to see another light, to believe that looking at nature under a brighter sky can give us a more accurate idea of the Japanese way of feeling and drawing. All my work is based, to some extent, on Japanese art.